Hey guys, I'm on Sanya. I've just been doing some maintenance. I um got the oil up. Uh, I checked the oil, didn't need any. I put some grease in the back thing. I filled the diesel. I sponged out the bilge. Um, did a couple other things. It's starting to rain now. Um, but that's not why I'm making this video. Um, I'm making this video to talk about addiction. It's a big subject. Um, and um, but it's one that's come up in the last week in a way that I, a couple of weeks in a way that I really can't ignore. So um, I've been addressing it really, which is not easy. Um, it's really hard. I just first of all want to talk a little bit about a history, um, just to give you a bit of background. Um, in 2005 ish, I was living in Wellington and um, I bought a boat. I'd always loved boats. You know, when I was a kid, I did pictures of yachts. It's just what I always loved, you know. And um, I bought a, bought a trailer sailor and then sold it for a little bit more. And I was like, oh, I can make money doing this. And so I did for a little while. And then I thought, well, I'd better go to Auckland. You know, there's thousands of boats up there. So I did. And I had this year of buying and selling boats. And what I'd do was I'd go around and... Um, Look for boats on moorings that are a little bit neglected. Find out who owned them, buy them, clean them up and sell them. And sometimes I'd make money and sometimes I wouldn't. And then I was learning about designs of boats. And, and really it was probably one of the most fun years of my life. After that, not long after that, there was a 2007 crash. It all just went dead, you know. No one wanted to buy boats anymore. Um, so I, I was out of a job and I had a little bit of like a year sort of mucking around trying to figure out what to do. And then I started trading caravans, and, and that's what I've done ever since. I buy and sell New Zealand caravans. It's my job. I'm a caravan hunter. If you've got a New Zealand caravan you want to sell, give me a ring. And um, clean them up and do them up and sell them. And do, I, I don't make millions of dollars, but I do all right. I, I make enough to live. In, in the years that followed, I've been, um, you know, every now and then buying a boat, um, sailing it for a while, finding something I don't like about it, and then selling it. Maybe it's the maintenance, maybe it's whatever, I don't know. Like the, the you know, maybe it's just the simple thing that the reality the fantasy doesn't meet the reality and, and then I get bored and sell it, but for whatever reason. And over the years sometimes I've made a buck out of that and sometimes I've lost. And I've sort of justified it thinking, Well, there's no real harm, no one's getting harm, what's the difference? But just lately it's been paining me a little bit and especially this Nolex. Um I bought this Nolex twenty five, it was an Acaroa. Um, it come on trade me, and I was like, you know, like many people, I've got a bit of a trade me addiction, I think, and that may be where it all starts. Not to blame that, but um, that's definitely a factor that I, you know, need to to to, to factor in. But anyway, um, so I um, this Nolex come up, and I jumped in the car, I bought it, jumped on it, went and and, and went down our Corolla, and, and I had to buy four new tires, do some welding. It was a bit of a palaver, but I got it towing because I got those skills with our uh, caravan, you see, and um. Got towing and towed it all the way home, you know, 1,200 kilometres. And, and the whole way I'm sort of daring to think, do I keep it? You know, it's bigger, it's shinier, it's better, it's got room for more people, blah, 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 faster. But the whole time when I'm going through this process of thinking, I'm going, there's this thing that bothers me, and that is Sanya. I love Sanya. I've all, I managed to keep a small, a couple of small boats over the years, and uh, the ones I keep are always the small ones. Now, oh, you know, I really, really like the small ones, you know, they're something that easy. I just just really like them. I always come back to that. I get it, I go through this thing of the oh, fantasy of what a big one, so I get a bigger one. No, no, it's too big. I can't, you know, I'm just going out my own. What, what's it all for? You know, you really just want somewhere to sit up, somewhere to lie down, and just to be able to enjoy it, you know. So, anyway, um, I bought this knowledge, dragged it home, and the whole time thinking, mm. and then the week after, which was last week, I started to think. Hold on, though. If I keep it, I've got to sell Sanya. And I don't want to sell Sanya. And, and that was what pained me most of all. And I'm like, why, why am I going through this process? I'll make a little, a few bucks out of Nol the Nolix if you want to buy it. It's a great boat. Um, some, you can hear a boat. You know what I mean? It's in, um, over there, a fishing boat. It's, um, it's, in, it's, in, it's scrubbed up nice. It's in good nick. The sails look okay. Um, I sound like a salesman, I guess I am, but like I, I don't mean to make this video to sell you the knowledge, I just wanted to talk about it. Anyway, um, but you know, I kept coming back, I'm like, oh, why am I doing this, you know, like, and, and so I started to th and talk to my wife about it and a few other people, and I'm like, 
And maybe that's just something I need to address. And like, why am I dissatisfied? Why do I go through this process? Part of it has to be said that I'm a natural trader. Um, but I don't want to trade yachts anymore. The only caveat to that maybe is if somebody come along, I had this idea, it'd be really fun. If somebody come along and offered me the right boat in exchange for the knowledge that I could see that I could add value to that, then trade that and see how far I could trade up. But I think if I do trade boats again, I've just got to be clear with myself about why. And that's where it gets tricky because I look and, and I if I buy if I buy caravans, I'm cold about it, you know. Like I don't fall in love with every caravan I've ever had. But I fall in love with every yacht I've ever been on, you know. Like it's a really emotional thing and that's really the problem. If I do trade yachts, I've got to be like, okay, I'm buying this yacht to tidy up and sell. Not I'm buying it to keep and all, what am I going to do and all this big conflict about but I'll have the boat that I love because I really, really, really do love the boat I've got. Um, and that, so I, I hope that gives you some insight. I'm, I'm, I'm expressing, I feel like, quite a lot of vulnerability. So please don't be too hard on me and say something smart-ass because it's easy to say smart-ass things in this world. And it's easy to pick hot faults in, in, in people. It's the easiest thing in the world. But it's, um, well, I don't know if it helps anyone. Um, although people generally have been quite kind on my channel. I don't mean to be having a go at anyone because no one's really been mean, but I guess just being this vulnerable, you, you don't want to invite it, yeah? and, and maybe it does, I don't know. But in any case, so um, what I really like for myself and what I really like to work on myself is just being satisfied, doing the maintenance, doing the work, and just being with the boat, you know, like this. I've always, I've always, have you seen the Count of Monte Cristo? There's this bit where he says, um, you know, uh, Fernand wants Mercedes, the hot chick. And he says, you know, you've always been jealous of Edmond who has the hot chick. You know, you were so mad when you were five and he got a, you got a pony and he got a whistle and he was more happy with his whistle than you were with your pony. And that, I really like that notion. Like, you know, life is about being, it's a fine line between changing your situation and being happy with what you've got. Now, I am someone who's in a position to really be, should be happy with what I've got. I've got this. If I sat down and worked out my perfect boat, it'd be this. You know, like, um, I, I've got some issues and nervousness around the engine. I think I'm going to resolve that by um, getting a decent dinghy and putting, getting a decent outboard and then having a bracket. And that way, if I ever have any bullshit with the, with the inboard, I can throw the outboard on the bracket, back and, and, and still have power. And that's a little bit to do with me having agoraphobia as well. Um, what I've talked about before. But yeah, really what I want, you know, because if you can figure out what you want, you're halfway there, aren't you? And it's not that easy to do. You think, oh, you just want this and you want that, but then you get it and you want something different. And, but what I want is to keep a boat here and sometimes in Mingwai, and um, I want to go out on it. And sometimes I want to take my friends. Sometimes I want to take my family. I often just want to go on my own and have some time away. And um, I want something I can handle. I love having a boat that's beautiful. It makes you kind of want to, work on it and be on it and, and stuff and i had this thought the last couple of days you know like because i always get in this pattern of like oh how long will i keep it what will i do you know like and that's the thing that goes around in my mind and, and um i've been thinking what about what about if i was the last owner, owner of sanya you know i can't be the first but what about if i was the last you know what if, if i kept this boat until it ends or i end how cool would that be you know like um and that I was satisfied that I can really call that. I sound like a nut, I don't care, and that's easy to say I am, but I know um, people deal with different addictions. I'm quite lucky in my life I don't have um, alcohol or drugs or anything to, to contend with or real, really serious mental illness. Um, but this is about as serious as my me close to mental illness as I get, really. Um, just a bit of, a little bit of nut, nuts with uh, yachts. But anyway, I hope this is helpful for people out there. Um, and and I hope I hope it sort of clarifies because um, people have been asking questions. I think I I don't know where I go from here. Well, I know where I want to go with Sanya. That's simple. But do I um do I go out and if a, if a boat comes up, buy it, make a buck out of it, or do I just leave it alone? If I could and do it without getting emotionally attached, but maybe that's unrealistic. You know, like maybe that's not actually possible. And if that's the case, so be it. Or do I have somebody? Because a couple of people have already offered me interest in trades. For the knowledge, do I do that and build up? But but you know we have a house already. I don't not desperate for money. So and it would have to be just for fun, and maybe that's not fun, and maybe that detracts from other people in, in a way that I 
don't know, you know, which I, I, I don't want to do. Um, anyway, look at the rain. It's almost past. Um, I think I've talked enough. I hope that clarifies things. If it means that I'm more nuts and you say that, well, that, that's just how, how it is. But yeah, like again, again, hopefully I can be happy with Sarnia. And whatever happens, if something comes up, I just have to be... Oh, there's one other option that I have thought of, you know, because I do love yachts. At one point, I thought I'll be a marine broker, and I got very, very close to being one. But the money's just too, too shit, to be honest. Like, I, I've got a family to feed, and I think it seems on the face of it more like a job that you do when you're retired for fun, you know? Like, um, and, and, if, and that would be very stressful when you've got two little kids. And a wife to feed, you know, you, 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 can't, you can't really do that. You've got to be realistic about about making enough money to, to keep everyone going. Um, but, you know, the other thing that had occurred to me is, like, maybe I um, you can really see the lack of headroom in here. That's that's me on the ceiling in front here. I could be on the thing. <laughs> so I had this on Trapey last week, and somebody asked me if I had headroom. <laughs> Well, yeah, if you're a six or seven, perhaps, and that, you know, it must be. I mean, here is a bit higher, but it's still only, what, five, three, probably? But um, oh, the, the, the thing I want to say is, um, like, maybe it would be fun to go out and look at boats and, and not, with not, no intention whatsoever of buying them, but make a video and talk about the designs, because I really am very genuinely interested in yachts. You know, um, I, I, I just really, really dig them. And, um, you know, m maybe that's a way of doing it without having the conflict, having the harm, having the, um, you know, the questions around why. And, and, and um, you know, that, that could be fun, something fun to explore. Um, yeah, that could be. And, and then I could really look at boats I love. Like I'd love to go online New Zealand and have a look around that and, talk about, you know, seeing that when I was a kid and the effect on that had on me. And, and I mean, stuff like that might be really, really, really enjoyable. Anyway, I've gone on for so long. I'm going to go now. I'm going to um, have the rest of my sushi, have the rest of my ginger beer, um, have a good look around Sarnia before I go. And um, and also, wouldn't it be nice? I've had Sarnia for three or four months now. Wouldn't it be nice to celebrate a year next year and a year and another year after that? You know, like... um. And to really see the progress and, and, and be the one that kept it, you know, be the one that varnished the outside, be the one that did this, be the one that really took care of it, you know. That, that, you know, like the whistle, you know. I want to be happy with the whistle. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter if it's not big enough for all my friends or whatever. In reality, they don't come out that much. And, and also the other thing I want to say about that, that's a real reality versus fantasy thing. Because when I take people out, I actually find it really stressful. You know, you go row them in and out, the tiny dinghy, do this, do that, and look at you kind of like you're babysitting them. And all the people I know, with all due respect, I love them very much. They did wait, really. They're not like jumping up and pulling in sails. They're not sailing the boat with me. They're along for the ride. And that's after a day or so, it just wears you out, you know, like, and you sort of, then, then, then you're like, what the hell have I got a big boat for, you know? So, um, yeah, I, 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 I've heard, have you ever heard this saying, Find the boat, the smallest boat you can that does everything you want. That is for me, Sunny. Anyway, I've gone on too, way too long. Um, hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.